Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today I'm going to run a one sample Z test of the mean, but I'm going to use the p-value approach to make my decision. The average computer mouse inspector can inspect 40 mice per hour with a population standard deviation of 14 mice per hour. 42 computer mice inspectors at Bob's factory can only inspect on average 34 mice per hour. Does Bob have reason to believe that his inspectors are slower than average at an alpha of 0.10. I'm going to go through the problem and I'm going to pick out the information that I have. So the average in the population is 40, but on average his guys can only inspect 34, so that becomes x bar. We had a sample of 42 inspectors and we were given a population standard deviation of 14 per hour and we're going to test in an alpha of 0 0.10. So we're going to set up our null and alternative hypothesis. So we know that the hypothesized value of the mean is currently 40 mice per hour. So now I need to determine my sign. So does Bob have reason to believe they are slower than average? That means they can inspect fewer than 40 mice. Because we know that HO and HA are mathematical opposites, this has to be greater than or equal to. I knew to put my less than sign in HA because there is never an equal to sign in the alternative hypothesis. Last thing is I need to determine what type of test I'm going to run. Well, I was given the population standard deviation. And when I test for the mean with the population standard deviation known, I know that I'm going to run a one sample Z test. So in order to find a P value, we have to find a Z value. And that's because remember that our P value is simply the probability of having gotten a test statistic or a test value more extreme <clears throat> than the one we got. So we're going to calculate our Z. And so we knew that um, the average for Bob's mouse guys was 34 and we had a population mean of 40. Population standard deviation was 14 mice and we had a sample of 42 which is our n. And so when we do that calculation we come up with a z-score of 2.78. Alright so now we have a z here of 2.78 and so my p-value is this area beyond my z of 2.78 so I'm going to look 2.78 up in my normal distribution table. So we're going to pick up our 2.7 right here. I'm going to go over our column of 0 0.8 where those two intersect I'm going to have 0.4973. And what this normal distribution table shows is it shows us the area from Z back to the mean. So now I know that 4973 is this area here. So I'm going to have to subtract it from 1 to get this area here. All right. So had our z-score negative 2.78, that gave us 49.73 here. This area in the tail is our p-value. So I'm going to take 0.5 minus my 0.4973 and that's going to give me 0. 0.0 027 and so now I have my p-value of 0 0.0027 
and now I can make my decision. Remember that under a p-value approach, if our p-value is greater than alpha, then our decision will be do not reject HO, but if p is lower, less than or equal to alpha, then we will reject HO. Remember, when p is low, HO must go. So I had a p-value equal to 0 0.0027. I tested at an alpha equal to 0 0.10, so P is lower than alpha, so our decision will be to reject HO. There is sufficient evidence to support Bob's claim that his mice inspectors are slower than average. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks for watching.